Understanding services. In this lesson you will explore Windows services. Learn to manage Windows services. Here are some guiding questions you can keep in mind to discuss with your group. List the four startup types for Windows services. How can you start the services snap in from search programs and files? And a service has failed to start. What application would you first use to determine the cause? Windows services include an application type that runs in the system background without a user interface. It provides core operating system features such as event logging, file serving, printing, cryptography, and error reporting. Antivirus software runs as a Windows service. Installed and running services will vary from machine to machine based upon software features installed. You can access services by clicking start, typing services.msc in the search, programs and files field and pressing enter. You can also access services through the computer management application as follows. Start, right click computer and select manage, locate and expand services and applications and select services. In this slide we can see the computer management uh, console and in the console we're looking at the services location and it's a good idea to differentiate between the extended view and the standard view by clicking the tab at the bottom. Extended view gives a description of the service. It does not always have a description though. When you're managing Windows services there's four startup types. Automatic, delayed start, automatic manual, and disabled. The automatic delayed start uses setting to configure the service to start automatically during the boot and logon process. The startup of of the service is delayed briefly during the logon process to increase logon performance. The automatic, you can use this setting to configure the service to start automatically during the boot and logon process. The manual setting allows the service to be started manually and the dis disabled setting disables the service so it does not start. Keep in mind that if you're looking at these services you can speed up your system by disabling some uh, services but you can also mess up your system pretty quick if you disable necessary services. While you're managing Windows services, uh, keep in mind Windows services require authentication to run. There's different logon options. You, have you can run as a network service, you can use a local system account, or you can use a user account. All services require authentication. If you install third-party software, typically you need to, it creates a service and the administrator is prompted to provide an account with authority to log on as a service. Services can be started, stopped, and restarted using services.msc and the computer management services snap in as we looked in the previous slides. You can also start and stop services through the command line interface. In this particular slide we're stopping the printer spooler service using the net stop spooler and we're restarting it by typing net start spooler. Services can be configured to respond to multiple failures. If your service fails, you can set it up to restart the service, restart the computer, or run a program. Restarting the computer is not always the safest solution. Some options when running a program can, ha can be to have the system start a program that can send a notification to the system administrator through email or a text message. This way, you know when a service dies and you can restart it. Services can be dependent on other services and vice versa. If a dependent service fails, then the related service will fail as well. In this particular slide on print spooler, we can see that the service depends on the following system components, which are HTTP and remote procedure call. And the following system components also depend on this service, and that's the fax service. When a service fails to start, typically an event is written to the system event log. Note that the source in this example is Service Control Manager, and it indicates the Windows search service terminated with the following area error. The media is write protected, and it provides information about things like an event ID, the time the error was indicated, uh, what, what information was logged, what computer indicated the information. If you click on the details tab you can get more information about the error. You can even click on a hyperlink event log online help to get more help from Microsoft online with the error. 
While you're discussing this content in your group, please also look at these questions. What application reports why a particular service failed to start? When would a user choose to disable a particular service? And what command can stop the spooler service at the command prompt?